Good morning. Today is a very exciting day because it's the Survivor finale. I can't wait to watch it. But first, coffee. I think I'm gonna go with gingerbread cookie. Hey, what's going on everybody? About to get the daily routine started here with the turning of the numbers. So we're down to the Final five. Final five. Hey, just a quick punch in here. Jessica and I wanted to give a quick shout out to WV Running Dawn, who also has a channel, Carpenter Vlogs WV. And uh, he's been posting great stuff. We've found him over a year ago. It's been a while. And, uh, just kind of a good uh, YouTube friend that we have. We also wanted to give a shout out to his nephew, Jesse, who's Blue Mustang 12 on YouTube. So yeah, if you guys are, I mean, honestly, they have more subscribers and followers and anybody watching their videos than us. But if you guys check this video out, you might want to check them two out. Uh, we'll put a link in the description to their channels and uh, yeah, you can see what's going on with them. But yeah, just a quick punch in. Today's candle is seven swans a-swimming. So I'm about to light the seven swans a-swimming and the scent is called White Christmas, which I guess White Christmas smells like deodorant. We'll see how it smells when it's burning, huh? So tonight is Survivor Finale, so Jessica and I are really excited about that. Oh man, it's like going to be like a three hour, I guess two hour episode, and then the reunion afterwards I think is probably going to be like an hour. So it's like three hours or a night, so we pretty much like scheduled nothing during this like today. We just wanted to have me finish work, get something to eat, and relax and watch but we still have a little bit of time so didn't really shoot any video this morning and just kind of went through my work day so I finished work and so trying to get all the routine stuff done not sure I didn't I was supposed to drink my was it the coconut the uh, coconut coffee co coconut coffee coconut chocolate coffee something I don't know that was pretty much all we really had planned today to relax and just w enjoy this the show that we've been watching all season. It's been a good season. If anybody is a Survivor fan wants to talk about some stuff, go ahead and leave any discussion topics in the comments, and I'll be sure to reply with uh, my thoughts, or Jessica will. She has her own thoughts, obviously. Oh, somebody wants to, he wants to, you want to say hi? Want to say hi to everybody? What are you doing? Oh, I know what you want. Come on. You wanna get up my butt? Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's the thing. TJ doesn't like people. It took us like 15 years to get him used to us. He's an odd cat. When my cousin Heather, her daughter Gabby came over, he was just hissing up a storm. He doesn't like guests. 
<sighs> we don't know what to do with this little sucker. It's a little grouch now. But he's good to us. We love him. We just had time to do the videos we wanted, like, to create the videos we wanted to make. Last year, this time, like, I was really sick. So, I'm glad that isn't a reoccurrence. Because that was pretty horrible. I ended up going to, uh, like, what was it? What, urgent care. And I had, had to get, like, antibiotics and everything. Because I had a really bad... Uh, I, don't, I still don't know what it was. They didn't even know what it was. But I had a really bad fever. And, uh, just really sick. The fever was the worst part of it, though. Like, I was sweating at night trying to sleep, but I was freezing. Like, I, I don't feel like I've ever been so cold in my life than what I was those nights when I was sick. So, I'm glad, I'm happy, I'm thankful for my health, and Jessica's health, and TJ's health. Because he, we've, he's had his own issues as well. At the end of 2018, and I really thought, like, I guess when we get closer to the closing of the year, you start thinking about the year. And I remember going into 2018, I told Jessica, I was like, this is our year. We're going to get a house. We're going to move. All this stuff's going to happen. And it did. We put that out there and, it, and we followed up with it and it came true. Well, we accomplished a lot of things that we wanted to accomplish in 2018. Not everything. I still need to get that uh, the under two hour half marathon, uh, even though I didn't really make that a priority for 2018. That might be my 2019 thing, to get an under two hour half marathon. Well, that's all we've got going on. I hope everybody's having a good one, and we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Did I just zoom in? Yeah, I did. <laughs>